and then boom. I go finger the, or I get fingered. Dude, the views in this game, they're so good. Have you, uh, Clipper, have you been playing Wukong the past week or so? That's dope. Uh, so we can delete that. All right, this will be the last one I watched. I'm going to go refill my water, and then um, uh, we'll get into it. You're enjoying it? Um, Yeah, I might start that later today. See how this goes. Uh, actually, I'm going to skim through this clip and then we'll do a longer one. This is me going back to one of the catagones I had already beaten. Again, just to double check, just to play around. Although, I wind up getting into an absolute death cycle. One of the uh, mobs had his way with me and I lost like 70,000 more runes. All right, these guys are easy. We kill them. I'm in this place, the catacombs to the right. This started, okay, I remember now. This started with, again, I'm not even using the interactive map. This is just me looking at the Elden Ring map. And if you look on my map to the left of my icon is that like church looking structure, right? That little structure there on top of the hill. And as one of those, as I'm scanning, I remember spending some 20 minutes trying to parkour my way up there two years ago. So, of course, naturally, as a stubborn male, I'm gonna, a uh, hard-headed male, I'm gonna go back and try again for 20 more minutes. And long story short, I could not figure out how to get up to that plateau with that structure. But in my search for that, I go back into the catacombs that we see me in, and that's where I end up. This is the one, so this is the catacombs that has a lot of like hidden under, like if you take an elevator down and then you send it back up, there's oftentimes places for you to drop down. Um, me looking for hidden walls, of course. So, right, like, that one, I don't know if this is exactly one. This might be the one you ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is the catacombs that has two different types of, like, hidden elevator sequences. One, you ride an elevator down. If you, at the end of it, you step back on and send it back up, you can then just fall down to the other ledge. And then it has that elevator you just saw me with. Which is, so I go and make sure I killed the boss, which I do. Boss dead. But you'll see right here, boom. It's like a second phase. There's like an elevator and then like an elevator on either end of the shaft. And it's like a little hidden mechanic. And so we see that. And then I get into this sequence and I'll be right back.
please explain to me why my runes are over there. Yeah, is that my fault? Maybe before dropping down, I should have assessed the situation and saw exactly where my runes were. But please, please explain to me why they were some 20 feet. They're on the... the oh my god. If that room is an L shape, they're on the other side of the L from... And you know, the only thing taking an L here is you, Creed. I know, I know. Dude, that's infuriating. Infuriating. I go, again, I don't pay it, like I'm not, I, I should have looked, but I assume they were where I died, you know? Crazy me for assuming that. And so I ran straight, oh, the irony! This time I died basically where oh, he is, One, and they're in the more, tunnel. Old Creed, you know, get over it. Two, um, for these deaths, I haven't counted them, I don't think. I counted the runes, I want to say. So if you want to add these deaths, feel free. Um, oh, where I died the first time. Boo, that hit me. Oh, dude, crazy. I genuinely hadn't seen your comment. No, I had not. Great mind. Go on alert for a bit for me. Absolutely good luck. Hopefully it goes smooth. Or unless you're somebody evaluating other people. And so give them hell, Clipper. Give them hell. <laughs> so triggered that was forty four thousand, dude and i know i need like 50k to level up now but bro i'm in 150k but that's damn near a third of it <laughs> that was the part like honestly whoever that is he's right we do need to give him hell let's have the best damn quarter this business has ever seen oh dude this boss so this is another one of those examples of this mob this enemy type is initially in the first like half of the game is typically only seen as a dungeon boss like you might be in a catacombs like i'm in currently and that is the dude you fight at the very end as the main main guy now he's just sitting here protecting one freaking corridor Wait, Alan. Uh, blah. And did you already finish the job for the day? Like you've already worked and are off? <clears throat> Cause did, wasn't this the week that you had a gig from like Sunday to Thursday, and then Friday is the wedding? Um. So needless to say, yeah, I died to this guy again, even though I got him really low. So then I just stopped recording. And um, we're not gonna talk about how many more attempts it may or may not have taken me to beat him, but long story short, here we go. We eventually do beat him. Even though, again, I don't even need to play through this catacombs. This is just me being like a completionist wanting to go back and make sure I've done it all. Done, done it all, done, done it all. Bastard, I got him.
Oh, I, okay, so this I took this screenshot because if you look in the middle of all those gross octopi, there is one of those little like hidden pixie dust creatures that you can get loot from. So I need to go back to this spot and actually kill that. That I wanted to ask the people on Reddit. So I... All right, this will be the last one. Yeah, okay, this will be the last one. So I went back into the Academy of Raya Lucaria. I took a screenshot of these portraits. I thought they were cool again. You can see Ronaldo on the right, the twin sages, Olivin, Olivinus, Oliv anyways, Carolos, some of the uh, mages they tell us about in the lore, okay? Uh, there's another portrait of Ronaldo. That's just badass. And you see her, uh, her staff underneath the portrait that's really sick i like how they have that mat uh, mantled and so again i'm just roaming around literally just i just spawn in a random location in uh raya lacaria and i'm running around killing things and i turn around and my first thought is there is no way so in where i'm at in raya lacaria is there's a giant water wheel to my left and eventually you use it to like as an elevator to get you up here and then as you flow through the map you go up the water wheel you get to where i'm at and then you go to the right uh that staircase that door and you progress through the game and so because you naturally natively pass through here to go to those steps on the right i go there is no way that i missed loot that obvious my first time through it's one of those like there's no way i missed that what and then i get closer and i still don't realize who it is until i'm like wait thops so thops is an npc adlin that you meet way earlier in the game and uh he kind of helps you get into this academy in the first place and so i had no idea he had died i didn't know that was his goal or whatever but yeah and i'll just let it play i thought it was really trippy i turn around i'm like ain't no way i missed loot that obvious and it was because that loot wasn't there the first time I passed through here. Later on in the game, once you defeat the boss of this area, Thops can now- Holy crap. So I, I just got, ran- I keep forgetting that I explain it in these videos and I beat myself to it, but Past Creed says and the same thing. Back missed this the first time. He, so after you doing the things, he came and snuck back into the academy and died doing crystal meth or something? <laughs> what happened? Okay, Pass Creed, Came you're funny. Snuck back. I want to know Pass Creed. He's a good guy. Very good guy. But yeah, because he, he's not even that longly dead. You know, when creatures die in this world or whatever, they kind of like petrify. And they just kind of like statue themselves. And he's freshly dead. Normal dead body that you get loot off? No, look at him. And then, yeah, like part of his whole quest is when he, I think he gets exiled from the academy and he wants to get back in there so when you defeat the boss obviously there's although the boss isn't dead but that's another story she's she's the chick who's like crying holding the giant amber egg anywho he like sneaks back into the academy and then dies doing crystal meth he, so after you doing the things he came and snuck back into the academy and died doing crystal meth or something what happened um, customer was being disrespectful yesterday. I picked up my stuff and left. He started yelling at me for not doing a job that's not mine. Ooh, I respect you putting your foot down. Um, so you can talk about meth, but I can't. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the way it goes, man. That's just the way it goes. So I got Thop's bell bearing, which will let me buy some loot. Look at him, just, I need more meth, is how he died. Oh, I give it to me. Um, I leveled up several times off stream because part of me going back and doing stuff like I've been doing is I'm finding a lot of things other than that freaking statue of the cat thing. Uh, I'm finding a lot of enemies I can kill easy. So like without even noticing it, I'm just going through areas, making sure I've gotten everything. And next thing you know, I have 20 or 30,000 runes from killing all the mobs. Um... Okay, no, no, no. This will truly be the last one because this is the area I want to go to first when I hop back on the game. 
So this is an area called Stargazer's Ruins. It's obviously up there in the mountaintop. I've been here before. I would have come here two years ago in my like when I'm playing. <clears throat> and there's a puzzle riddle thing here. And in a couple seconds, you'll hear like a, a female voice calling out to me, like asking for her sister. And I remember like two years ago also hearing it and having, and again, spending some 20, 30 minutes looking up, looking around, trying to hit invisible walls, trying to emote, right? Like doing everything I can to try to trigger whatever the puzzle's asking for. And I never figured it out, said screw it, moved on. And I'd completely forgotten about it. So here I am just looking for loot, making sure I got everything, completely forgetting about this like puzzle riddle that's here. So we're, I'm gonna fast forward a smidge. Cause I'm just like looking around. I'm, I look at that like owl up there. And then. See, I walked too far away. But at this point I'm like, okay. Young, young lady needs help or something. I've been waiting ever so long, forever and ever it seems. Look at parkour poppy in full effect. Parkour poppy in full effect. It must have that Walter White supply. It was blue. It was blue. Called that, you did. You spoke that into existence. I definitely didn't mean to aggro this jellyfish. So like clearly some down here that is sealed little magic seal not to be confused with the man who's saying kiss by a rose on yeah nailed it definitely know the lyrics to that by the way um So this is where I want to go back to when I hop on the game here in a second. So again, I'm looking for like where they could be. Where is there something secret? We'll fast forward a little bit. Boom. A kiss by a rose on a hand. That song's a banger, by the way. Oh, it's kissed from a rose. Why is it not kissed by a rose? It's terrible lyrics. And then, okay, the last video. This is literally right behind the ruins I was just at. So I was in Stargazer's ruins. You know, I end on the ledge. Well, if you go down the cliffside right behind it, you, have, you see this here in a second. You kill some more bats. And then I had truly never, so you know, I, I mentioned two years ago coming here and hearing the like girl call out to me as part of the riddle that I had in interacted with. This, I had never interacted with until this, which was, hell, even as I approach this, I don't even know that there's something to interact with. I'm going to grab loot. And then if you look on the bottom of my screen, it's like, uh, you can switch actions. See how it tells you you can either acquire materials or switch to a different action. And then I'm like, Question mark, here lie Aurelia and Aureliette, who never saw the stars, okay? So the girl up top was calling out for her sister, so that immediately is like, okay, okay, we're getting closer on the riddle here, who never saw the stars. So I start, I don't know if this video will show it, I go into my bag, that I'm getting- chick, like, call out for her sister, but when I experienced this two years ago, I had no idea. I, I keep describing them in my video. Anyways, I long story short, I wind up going and getting every like star based magic spell that I know and um and trying to summon it near the statue, near everything, and nothing nothing worked up until now. I might have been doing them wrong, doing them in the wrong spot, but actually now that I think oh, wait, about I it, I didn't do it. Oh I didn't do it in front of the graves. Spell I come shit. here and I do it. Okay, well let's start with Night Maze Mist. And then I go, like, basically anything that I have that's Found not Founding Rain of Stars. No. I do. And none of them work. 
But now I'm thinking I gotta do them by the grave. But I even go and do emotes to see if that helps. Doesn't help. Yeah, I do. The 25th rose. Yeah, but like, when did I get my choice of kissing the other 24 roses prior to you, though? You know what I'm saying? Hikaru, the chess master? Grandmaster? I guess I need to get on my Wukong sh Stargazer's Ruins. The only problem with this place is there's no, there's like no quick way to get here. You gotta come all the way over here. The level of disrespect. You have no idea. La, 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 la. Honestly, I just realized it's 2.15. I, I think I'm on six dailies. Um, I think I'm on six dailies on snap. All right, we're back live footage. Oh, I need to turn it down if we're live footage. Ooh, that could have been very bad for y'all's ears. All right, how's the audio so far? Obviously, it's gonna be different when I get in fights, but. Dude, it is so hot. How hot is it in Algeria right now? Audio is perfect, okay, great. Yeah, I turned it up to 110% for the recordings and then I bring it, I have to bring it down to, well, I don't have to, but I'm on 58 right now. Shows the difference in recordings versus not. 110 for recordings, 58. Ooh, I'm back up to 75,000 room. One of the last things I did last night um, was level myself up again. And then, I, I shouldn't say one of, hold on, sister, where did you go? Come on, give me more. You promise me when we turn 14, we go to see the stars. I've been waiting on this so long. Forever and ever, it seems. Forever. Ever, amen. I wonder if it has something to do with the jellyfish. I'm gonna go try to do the spells. Oh man, I should have equipped more of them. All right, you want to see the stars? I'll show you the stars. This one literally says releases a downpour of star rain for a while. It is said to have been discovered by an ancient astrologer, a sorcery of legendary status. Summons a dark cloud of stars overhead. Shortly after the cloud release of blah, 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 star rain. Uh, and the stars amber rain down on this land. That, I can't mention stars more frequently. That one. Amen. Show you the stars. Ooh, great. Okay, that didn't do it. <laughs> that didn't do it. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe. It's 88. Damn, it's actually hotter here than there. It's really weird, too, because, like, for four days straight, a couple days ago, phenomenal weather. I mean, like, it, that kind of, like, it's about to be fall, so that it's sunny. It's sunny as can be, but there's that crisp in the air, right? And, uh, dude, perfect. Fall is my favorite season by far. And, um... 
yeah, anyways, uh, we phenomenal weather, but today it just ramped back up. Do I do a starlight shard? Uh, Adeline, do you ever see yourself playing this game? Uh, Elden Ring, by the way. Amber Starlight. But I can't do anything with it. It's got to be in a moat, huh? Spread out. Balled up. Dejection. Sitting sideways. Desperate prayer. I'm looking for anything star related. Doesn't look good. Hold on. Point upwards to the stars. No, I didn't want to do that. Correct me if I'm correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't this game play on um, PS4s and Xbox Ones? I mean, the seventy dollars is a is a thing, or it might be sixty on Xbox One, but I mean that is a good point. But I'm pretty sure it, it came out on past consoles as well, even though it came out in 2022. Wait, maybe I have a weapon. Okay, if I can't figure it out in the next couple minutes, I'm, if you don't mind, I, uh, the reason I mainly asked for it, because I was gonna see if you would look up something, but I didn't wanna have you spoil something for yourself if you were like, you know what I mean? Thinking about playing this game imminently. Okay, we wanna look for my weapons and see if I have anything like a star attack. Oh, hold on. My One of my weapons has a skill called Nebula. Daily salaries here is a thousand, uh, which is like 747. Um, trying to guess what DZD stands for. I keep thinking of things like the, uh, De uh, De Nero and the, um, what's the Indian one that starts with a D? Damn it. DZD. All right. Um, boom. Where was the other one? This one has Star Caller Cry. Nebula, we've tried that. Flowing form, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Gravitas. I will try that next. Transient moonlight. Dancing in the moonlight. Everybody's running, feeling right. It's such a natural sight. All right. Um. Nothing's working. Oh, that's right. I can't use the skill when I can't use the weapon. Damn it. We need a lot of strength. I don't know if we can make up enough for that. Let's just hope that that's not the solution. Um, I, I think they're sisters. Aurelia and Aureliette. We're at the Stargazer's Ruins. Stargazers and Aurelia and Aurelia. Is that a is that your hint? Is that your first hint to me? Or is or or not yet? Or never again. One guy can kick the bottle. What else could it be? Her Hmm. 
It has to do some of this jellyfish just sitting here randomly. I'm showing the jellyfish the stars. He doesn't like it. Wait, was that it? Oh, I thought it opened up for a second. It does, yes. It does have to do with the jellyfish? Oh, shit. I'm presuming it needs to be alive? So maybe I still can't do this yet. Maybe I need to progress someone else's storyline. What you think about your boy's fit though in this game? None of these items are supposed to go together, air quote, but they look so clean. And they're like what I would love to wear. Like, it's a combination of, they look good together without being a part of the same set. So I love that. And they actually are what I want from like a stats uh, build, like my build being as good as it can be. Hmm. They're waiting for someone. That makes me think I still, I need to get some, ah! I need to get someone progressed and they'll show up here. <laughs> Ego love child is me. Yeah, but it juices me up, dude. It's one of the... So it increases my intelligence to the detriment of my health and my stamina. But it, like, cranks my intelligence up. Some of the other options I have, like, this increases my intelligence. But it's... This one does, gives me three more. Although, as I've been going back through the interactive map and I've been going through my gear and re-reading some of this stuff and comparing and yada yada, I've actually started to consider using this because it increases my dexterity, which is what I need for the sword that I main. So it would like, I would lose a little bit on my intelligence, but it would still be better, or I'll lose a little bit of my intelligence, but I'll gain some in my sword play, which I've been using my sword more and more as I've gone on, right? And then recently, like yesterday, I got this off stream. This increases my intelligence and faith, but it's a pretty big drop off. Anyways, did you do anything related to Rod Rika? I did, I did. Last I remember she is here in my round table. 